Transfer pricing is a topic that often flies under the radar, but it plays a crucial role in how multinational corporations operate across borders. So what exactly is transfer pricing? In simple terms, it refers to the pricing of goods, services, and intangible assets sold or transferred between entities within the same multinational corporation. This can involve subsidiaries, branches, or affiliates operating in different countries. The main goal of transfer pricing is to determine a fair market value for these transactions allowing companies to optimize their operation and manage their tax liabilities effectively. Let's break it down a bit. Imagine a multinational corporation that manufactures smartphones. It has a factory in China that produces these smartphones and a sales office in the United States. When the factory sells a smartphone to the U.S. office, it needs to set a price for that transaction. This price isn't just a random number. It needs to reflect the actual value of the smartphone as if it were being sold to an independent third party. This is where the concept of the arm's length principle comes into play, which states that the transfer price should be consistent with prices charged between unrelated parties in similar circumstances. Now, why do companies engage in transfer pricing? One of the most significant reasons is tax optimization. By setting transfer prices strategically, corporations can shift profits to lower tax jurisdiction, effectively reducing their overall tax burden. For example, if the U.S. subsidiary is subject to a higher tax rate than the Chinese factory, the corporation might set a higher transfer price for the smartphones sold from China to the U.S. This allows the U.S. subsidiary to report higher costs and consequently lower taxable income. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While transfer pricing can lead to significant tax saving, it also opens the door to potential abuse. Some companies may engage in aggressive transfer pricing practices, setting prices that don't reflect fair market value to shift profits artificially. This can lead to disputes with tax authorities, hefty penalties, and reputational damage. It's a fine line that companies must walk, balancing the benefits of tax optimization with the risks of scrutiny from regulators. There are several methods that companies can use to determine transfer prices. The cost plus method, for instance, adds a markup to the production cost of a product. The comparable uncontrolled price method compares the controlled transaction to similar transactions between unrelated parties. The profit split method divides profits between entities based on their contributions to the transaction. Each method has its pros and cons, and the choice often depends on the specific circumstances of the transaction. Implementing transfer pricing policies isn't without its challenges. Companies must navigate complex regulations that vary by country and industry. Documentation is crucial to demonstrate compliance with the arm's length principle, and this can be a resource-intensive process. Additionally, companies must be prepared for the possibility of disputes with tax authorities, which can lead to lengthy audits and additional costs. Ethical considerations also come into play. Companies have a responsibility to ensure that their transfer pricing practices are fair and transparent. Stakeholders, including employees, customers, and the communities in which they operate, should not be negatively impacted by aggressive pricing strategies. Corporations must recognize their social responsibility to contribute fairly to the economies in which they operate. Transfer pricing regulations can differ significantly between industries. For example, the extractive industries, like oil and gas, face unique challenges in valuing their assets. In contrast, industries driven by intellectual property, such as pharmaceuticals, must navigate the complexities of licensing and royalty payments. Manufacturing and service industries each have their own set of regulations and methods that are best suited to their operations. So, how do companies determine the appropriate transfer price for a transaction? They consider various factors, including market condition, production cost, and the nature of the relationship between the entities involved. Sometimes, companies may even seek advanced pricing agreements with tax authorities to establish a clear method for determining transfer prices in advance, minimizing the risk of disputes later on. As we explore the potential consequences of aggressive transfer pricing practices, it's essential to understand that the risks can be significant. Tax penalties, reputational damage, and the potential for double taxation can all arise from non-compliance or overly aggressive strategies. Companies must tread carefully, ensuring that their transfer pricing practices align with both legal requirements and ethical standards. In conclusion, transfer pricing is a complex yet vital aspect of international business. It offers multinational corporations opportunities for tax optimization and operational efficiency, but also presents challenges and ethical dilemmas. By understanding the ins and outs of transfer pricing, companies can navigate this intricate landscape, ensuring compliance while optimizing their global operations. Whether you're a business professional, a student, or just someone interested in how global commerce works, grasping the fundamentals of transfer pricing is essential in today's interconnected world.